Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. What's up guys, so we about to do this wig right here, this is from Zuri, this is their Zuri Sis wig, it's called J-Lo, now first of all there's two combs in the front, you do see that little curved part, there is a comb in the back as well on this unit, and like I said her name is J-Lo, I just got her a natural color, the nape area is really taped, or tapered, not taped, really tapered, and as you can see here it's kind of like fluffy, curly, so we're just going to get into this, but it is available at Elevate style, so let's get into this wig and just see how it turns out. Okay, you guys, let's just talk about this wig real quick because I'm not going to spend a million minutes on it any longer than I have already tried to figure out this wig here. But can I mention to you that this wig cap is humongous. Like this wig is huge. Like I have it so pulled in and had to over loop and go on the other side. It's still too big. And then when I put it like that, the back starts scrunching up. So it's like, okay, what do you want me to do? Then second of all, I'm not really sure what kind of style this is supposed to be. It's got three different styles going on. It got this in the front because what is this? Okay. What is this? I had to hide it underneath here because, like, what is this? Um, can somebody explain that to me? Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. All right, then it got a wet set, and the wet set, if you pick the part, the curls, they frizzing up. Then you got this in the back, which is a little fade. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. What the heck is going on here? So we got all these different styles going on in this one wig, as well as the naming is so confusing. It's like, okay, you know what? Zuri, just stick to something simple because some of us don't have time or mathematic, algebra, geometry skills to try to figure out all of this extraness with this wig. Listen, I'm all for trying to make a wig work. I'm all for affordability. I love cheap wigs and I'm all for looking cute, especially in your new hair. If it was just curly all over, then it would be fabulous. To me personally, the texture is the best thing out of this daggone wig because it's like a light yakky texture. So this is the best thing out of the wig is the texture. Other than that, it's too huge. If you have a regular average size head, this wig cap is huge. Like, you know what? what? This is, um, I'm not about to fight. I give up. I'm like waving a little white flag like, you win. I've never let a wig win, ever. I never let a wig ever defeat me. But this time around, y'all, I have been defeated by a wig. Okay? A synthetic wig at that. So, of course you guys know, you can still check out Elevate Styles for some other really, really elevated styles. You know what I'm saying? But this one right here is a no bueno in my book. Like, no bueno. Here, if it was curly, like all the way curly, like... Look, I had to tuck that behind my ear and kind of like hide it and do all kind of special events to it. Then it would be cute like this because I like it cute like this. You know, despite the back, 
it would still be cute. But all of that front swoopage and stuff, it doesn't go. It just doesn't go. And so on that note, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. At least my makeup is on fleek. I will see you in a soon to come video. And on that note, um, yeah. Hey. Let me see your hands in the air.